Hey, I'm Visual Magi, visual artist and content creator. Today I'm going to show you how to create a landscape HDRI for free with NVIDIA Canvas. Let's get to it. So for those that don't have the NVIDIA Canvas, it's totally free at the time of this recording and the uh, link is in the description below. Uh, for me, uh, so you can just go, literally just go to this website here. And again, link is in the below and just download NVIDIA Canvas. You know, download it wherever you want. Uh, so I use it with Omniverse, which is totally free, and you can search it here. Um, link link is below. I recommend getting Omniverse. It has many free tools for creation, and it helps with UST export uh, in Blender. So yeah, and Blender is also free. If you guys didn't know, um, download it here. Okay, so now once you have Omniverse or Canvas, and you can just launch it here, open it up. Now once it's open, we can go into uh, the panor panorama, the beta version. Continue. All right, so once it's loaded, it kind of gives you a blank slate here. Um, now later you just start going to it. So let's uh, go here, we'll add some clouds. Out there. And cloud there. All right, so now I can go new layer. We'll add some mountains. I'll make this a bit bigger. Oops. Make that a bit bigger. Gives you some mountains here. Okay, so we got some mountains. We'll get some water. This is the sea. We'll do that. Put some water here. All the way across, I guess. So it's important to note that to what you do on kind of the left of things, especially in the foreground. Um, you want to do it at the same time at the right. That way it kind of evens out for your HDRI. Okay, so we got water. We'll put some, let's do some flowers. Quickly, let's do some flowers here. We're gonna do some flowers on the left. And, what else? We'll add another layer. We'll put some more clouds in. These are, oh, sorry, hills. We'll put some more clouds. Cool. All right. So now you got different layers. We can delete or whatnot. So this is a. So literally, I'm done. Um, now that I'm done, we can just go to the export. So we'll export this um, wherever you want. So we'll put this in, say, Canvas. We'll export, uh, name it Tucked 1. And so now we have this as an HDRI, easy and quick. Now this is the beautiful part. So once you have a uh, scene done, we can go into different modes. So we can go to like a night and tell you the mode, but like a moody mode, a night brighter mode, all these different ones. So literally you have at least nine to start with, different uh, HDRIs, and then you can do variations of each one. And I think it goes up to, so 10 variations. So literally you have 90 HDRIs you can create from this one image. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna choose, let's go, which one do I want? I like that one. 
So we'll do that one, we'll export that. Oops. Go to canvas. We'll go to okay. So now let's get into Blender. All right, so now that we're in Blender, um, literally just go to our map. We'll go to environment, texture, open canvas. And so here are a few different ones that I've done so I'll just put the one doing the one that I saved open that up we'll give this guy a texture too i will make just the roughness down metal up and if you press control um, control say two it gives it a sub a subdivision uh, in our modifiers so control two all right so let's Go to our scene, let's give this up a bit more. Take a look at it. And there we go. So if you look, I'll put it up on this one. Done. So that's literally few seconds and you got uh, oops. smooth it there we go so now we have an HDRI in Blender and again you can use it in any other software too um, not just Blender <laughs> and uh, yeah that's it So I hope you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe uh, to support my future tutorials and any content that I make. Uh, yeah, one love. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this helped you out. Enjoy. Woo.